Hey, what's going on, guys? James Wallace here, and welcome back to my F1 2016 Queen Most Guide for part number 79, guys. So, last time we did, we did the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix free practice 2 and 3 that we did so far. And now we're now going to go into qualify for this, guys, for the Brazilian Grand Prix. So, yeah, my team was fast in the first two, second, and third practice. So, I was fast in the first one. We've got a bit bad on our hands to try to get this one in the run up in the championship so far. Hopefully, we'll do that indeed. But let's listen to him and check and see what our session go is. Hi, Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. You mean qualify, you mean? Alright, so we had to qualify a second or higher and beat our white for Di Ricardo, so... Let me know about this so far. Check it out the battery, um... Bit low at the moment, so, but we can still sort of hang over with it. Don't you worry, we'll hopefully hand over one battery indeed, so yeah. So, my team is only just leading by just 11 points for me so far. This is not going to go so far for this indeed. So, yeah. Pretty good one for this in the championship so far for this. So, yeah. It's been really good for the last few races to go so far. Worst position I've been it was in 2013 Malaysia. And did not finish the race in Belgium. So, I've had two retirements so far for this. But pretty so how the results will be pretty good and much better performances indeed. As we head towards the next race, which is Brazil. Let's see how this one will be pretty much better indeed so far. And let's get into it for this. Welcome to Interlagos, Sao Paulo. We hope you're enjoying your Saturday afternoon. And we hope you'll stay with us for today's qualifying for the Brazilian Grand Prix. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximizing top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? The teams will have arrived with all manner of parts designed to capitalize on the long straights. The cars will be that much harder to drive in the corners, but everyone will be in the same boat. Uh, you should be able to get into the next qualifying session easily, so try to get a hot lap in early so we can set the tires. Thank you very much, Jeff Dan. So here we are, guys, for the... First qualifier for the Brazilian Grand Prix in Sao Paulo into Lagos. Hopefully, hardest one will be pretty much better in the back of the back. And no way, Factory Party is the first ride out on track for Williams. So, this is going to be a big hand on the best so far for this guy. Let's see how this one. Yeah, another park firm of regulators on notice. So, let's get out there and do a lap around into Lagos. Okay, up the hill we go through now. Heading towards the penultimate corner there, guys. And we're going to begin our first lap in qualifying for this Brazilian Grand Prix, guys. Let's see how this one tested for us in D so far. And we'll begin our lap here in Brazil. So keep the car performance there. Data going much better indeed. But we're going to turn before we go through now. And Bottas set the fastest up in D so far. But we're hopefully how this one get in the first set in D. And we're only 87 tenths up from Fauci Bottas' pace. So, not a good start there to our top type procedure there as we go very confused has now gone faster than that indeed on the soft tire that's where we're on now as Alonso has gone faster so one minute not 30.199 I don't think I could beat that indeed so let's see where we're going to go for this lap guys Oh, we're 50 tenths up on Mercado there, guys. As we go through to up there, we go through to turn three, we go through now. This is where the pace gets more interesting than it is now for this first quarter set in Brazil, there, guys. And we go through to the far car of the race track there. Let's see what we're going to put there. And um, we're only 16 tenths on Mercado there, guys. But that was a good shot there. That was the end of that set there, but that was pretty good. But anyway, that was a quick lap at the end of there. So we're only just about. A few tenths down there, but yeah, that was pretty good tenths down on them so far, guys. As we go through into turn number, how many tenths were only? Oh no, I think we only just about 100 tenths down on him. Hmm, must better we go through now. So we're going through this part section there, and um, before we go into this, call we go through that, guys. We need much better recording Formula One again. So how the pace will be going much better than this. Oh no! Oh my goodness me. Uh, that was supposed to be to do that guys. Oh, wait, let's head back to the pits guys. Completely messed up there on the soft tire there guys. 
And some have gone on the camera there, guys. But hopefully, that was my bad, guys. That was my bad. Hopefully, how the pace woman we're going through. Let's head back to pits right now, guys. And sort out this, this thing. Yeah, I know, Jeff. So look at that. Well, he's just a few tenths down for me, Carly. He said one minute 12. I said one minute 30 point. 105 there, so that's not good my pace so far for this one we caught today, guys. Hopefully, how the other drivers will be living for this. As we see Felipe Massey in his home Grand Prix. Hopefully, how the pace will be it. They thought it was Felipe's final Brazilian Grand Prix before he retired in the end of 2016, but he came back for one more year and then retired in the end of 2017 and goes on to Formula A. So that's what happened to Felipe Massey there. But it looks like he wants to get into. Oh, he's coming to the pits, unfortunately. Oh, wait, that's about the so far. Wow, Wasper's gone faster than Ricardo. Good luck there for Nico Wasberg, and he has gone fastest for Mercedes. Wow, Wasper getting the hang of it after what happened in Mexico City last time out. Good pace for this after the last few races ago, and dying for a play, he will not try and get that one up in the championship indeed. Just behind him is his teammate Lewis Hamilton. Look like he didn't want to get that point to get in the one up in the championship so far indeed. So we'll see the end of this session guys and see how this one will be pretty so who is going to get through and who's going to be going out. But which one of these guys is doing well so far? No busy Mercedes, keep your promise going well so far indeed. So the end of 4 by one guy is Wasper's going fast ahead of Hamilton. The bonus thing I got good work so far from Master got an excellent fur. Both of me and Ricardo only got 4th and 5th at the moment so far for this. And a good one for these drivers to get through into the next session in DS, so they wipe it in too. But let's see the driver who didn't make it through into the next part of the qualifying session. So unfortunately, we lost in Q1, Felipe Nasser, Kevin Magnussen, Will Ianto, Pascal Fairline, Marcus Ericsson and Jolia Palmer are all out in Q1. They're not going to be joined in the next part of the session. Good day, guys. Game over for them, indeed. So after hours of delay, guys, we are finally back in the car for the second quarter season for this so far for this Brazilian Grand Prix, guys. Hopefully we can do better for this in D so far. Well, that's the one better in D so far. Sorry about that, guys. So, we only got 16 try in the session so far, guys. So this time we're going to go on the medium tire this time now. We're going to try how this pace will make it into Q3 today, guys. Thanks, Jeff. We'll check a look at the car's data indeed. All right, we're right towards this and oh, for God's sake, what the fuck is this one with this play controller? I'm fucking all charging it over the last few hours and then he disconnected it. Fuck you. Anyway, sorry about that, about that everyone. So, fortunately that, that controller disconnected means we haven't got enough battery power for this. Don't worry, we'll be fully charged when we get into the race tomorrow, guys. I mean, beginning up here in Brazil in Sao Paulo. And the Sunny Spells is going pretty good in Rosa Von Brasso. And then Sao Paulo is going much better indeed so far. And we go through into turn, but we go through it. We call us a 17.540. But we're on the medium tire so far, so let's see what the last one will be going through. 2 to 200 tenths there, slower than we call today, guys. Alright, when we go through into turn 4, and into 5, we go through now. Making another pace on the medium tires, much better indeed so well. As we go through into turn 6. Oh, no, 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 that's not very good indeed. I'm going to lose some time there, guys. I'm not following the racing line very much better indeed. So let's see. When we go into turn 10. That's much better indeed so far. Then we go into turn Let we go now. And we're crossing this one now. We're in just one second from Ricardo a bit so far, guys. And we're going around the last few corners now. As all the drivers are completed in their laps so far, but they're completing their laps. Just put what I did. So let's see where this laptop will put us, guys. And it's gonna be a 1.83.825. That's only put us into seventh place at the moment, guys. That's a terrible lap for me indeed so well here in Brazil in Sao Paulo. As all the other effort guys have not been better indeed. I all keep pushing indeed. I don't want to get knocked out in Q2. Or my team will get mad. I might force out and go to the number team for the five races of the season. But I don't want to do that, guys, for next season day, guys. But anyway, before we go, into turn number six, okay? I 
Oh, I've got the pace going well in these. I know he's P1 at the moment, but I might try and beat him indeed. Going through that corner was pretty totally light to fight for pace indeed. And we're just 94 tenths down indeed. And we're in P10 at the moment so far for this. Hopefully the pace will be being much better indeed so far. As we go through to the fire core of the track indeed. We're currently nearly going to be outside there, but we're going to cross line now. And we go third fastest indeed. For this second quad versus indeed. That will be safe for us to get into the next set in the fire quad versus that we're having today guys. Hopefully I had this one indeed so well in pretty sure how this pace is more better as it should be now. As we're going into turn four now. So we're going to come back to the pits now. And we'll see any driver who can make it into the fire suit out guys. We're going to say let's get back to the pits guys. Okay, we're in the pits now. Forcing the car to see how they good work, everybody else. Good work today. Good pace to see how the car will be feeling for the final two type guys. Where we end this second quarter as it indeed so far. Who has gone faster so far? Actually, it's my team actually. And Harmut has gone into second place indeed. So he's not far at the moment. But I'm going was faster in this first set. In the first quarter set a few hours ago. So, how the pace is going to be much better indeed so far from Zayis though. It's making Hamilton and Ross but more even better as we go through for this one. Oh, well, Gross is in the pits now, so not the best performance for Hassan though so far. But where's his teammate Gutierrez at the moment? Um, well, I can't see him in the moment, so I think he's in, he is in the drop zone at the moment. So both of the Hassans are in the drop zone at the moment, and so does both of Massa and but well, they're in the drop zone at the moment. But it doesn't improve in best his last time with this. Both is a 70.5 of fine, going purple in the first sector though. I was purple in the second sector, and the first purple sector was Ricardo. So very close indeed so far with this, as Hamilton has gone on the 1 minute 12.325. Not close enough, or just 500 tenths behind Ricardo there, guys. Good one for this indeed, but we've got a lot more drivers on their lap indeed, and then try to get to the, the bottom zone, and you can make it to the five top 10. But let's see who's going to make it through to the last season, guys, we'll see the end of the... Part of the quad and guys. I mean, see you at the end of Q2, guys. So we're on board on the homemade driver, Felipe Massa. And he's in the bottom zone at the moment. Well, one Brazilian is out at the moment, that's Nasa. But the other Brazilian, Massa, is in his home Grand Prix, and hopefully he needs to try his best. He's in the drops at the moment in 13, but can he get a best personal lap to get into the final part of the suit out, guy? Let's see. Danny goes into turn four, we go going through now. Magnus mind the pace much better in D so far. Wow, he goes into left hander. Down here he goes through now. 17.6767 in the first sector though. Good pace in D so far indeed. Wow, he go into the next few corners he goes through now. Truck is busy at the moment right now, but he's keeping his pace going indeed. Wow, he go into turn seven. Much better pace he goes through now. We're seeing how Felipe Massa can try to get himself out of this quad. Find two sets and then hopefully get into the far part, guys. Let's see, the crowds are cheering on him so far, guys. But he's heading towards the five feet course of this lap, guys. Here in Brazil, here we go. Round to turn 13, he goes through now. Up here, now he goes through now. And through to the penultimate court of the race now. How is one going to be pretty sure how the Brazilian GP be better for this indeed? When he goes, cross the line right now, and he goes. Oh dear me. And the fans will not cheer their man Massa, unfortunately he will be out of this session guys. This is a bummer day for Felipe Massa though, he's not going to be into the next part of the session guys in qualifying 3. So the end of qualifying 2 guys, it's Ricardo has gone faster than the bummer say is though. I got 4 ahead of Fauci Bottas. And 6 plays better ahead of Carlos Sainz and Alonso, the 2 spare making it through to the far part of the suit tower. But let's see the try who did make it for the suit tower in the top 10. So we have lost, Kimi Waikin and his Fiori. Days of the Brazilian Grand Prix completely going wrong for him. Jensen Butti is out too. Massa is out in his home fans' place. He's out. The Brazilian is home where he's out to qualify in qualify too. He'll be joined Roman Grosan, Daniel Cafier, and Esteban Gutierrez. And all of them are not going to make it fit to the final part of the suit out indeed. So this is it then, guys. The final suit out, qualifying three. This is where the chance to try to get purposes in this race, guys. But let's see who's going to get it, guys. Let's see how this run is going to be. Pretty sweet indeed. 
<laughs> okay, here we go then. We've got changes for F4 2017 guy, but let's see. It's the five suit tower here in Brazil. And how this one going much better indeed like the one we did last season though we crashed out. Wait, right, when we go over into turn one now. Oh, we forgot to add the eight the DLS curves. I think we had to do that guys. Let's see how this one going pace in D so far. And we go and open up the DLS. 17.6767 for that first set today, guys. And we're going around now into turn five. We go over now. Much well done pace in D. So well for this, guys. Here in Brazil and into Lagos. And fair say, 1812, guys. How are you going to 1812s? I don't know why. But we need to try to beat this laptop in D for Sebastian. Fair to not try to get us in D's. Oh, let's see. Oh, we're faster than there. There's an airplane going past us. That's no, no, no! For God's sake! Incredible, believable indeed. That was a horrible lap. Horrible, horrible lap. I'm doing this again. Stupid bloody lap at turn 13. I hate that. Alright, let's try this again, guys. Messed it up for the last lap there, guys. Alright, let's see how this one goes for us in these. Cross over, we're going through now. Or you just 99 tenths for me and we call it there, guys. And we go through to turn before we go now. Up there, we go through now. Making the pace more easier than it is so far. When we go into turn 6. That's not good. Alright, the pace is going well with this of our indeed. And we go through to the final few corners of the set to like that, guys. Okay, this is the easier part. There we go. Much easier than we missed out of the last one there. The, oh, they got it more. Pace indeed so far. So up, Joe. I'm not in P10 at the moment now. There we go now. Let's see what they put. Is this going to be purposes? No, it isn't. It's going to be four for us indeed. This is not what I wanted to see here in this tracking um, Brazil, guys. How this lap would be pretty much better than Ricardo's lap time indeed, guys. But it's looking good indeed. So, yeah. So we might do another couple more laps there guys and then we'll come into the pits and do one more lap. Mm. Well actually we might do one more lap in here. Oh the pace is going good indeed. This pace is going much better indeed. Thank you, Jeff. We'll know about this coming up later on. Hmm. Right, so let's, 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 let's return to the pits now, guys. We'll, we'll do another lap and then we'll come out and do another lap in D. We'll be right back, guys. Alright, we're going about three minutes left to go now. Let's see how this last few laps to go. Here in Brazil, we might give it more better for this so far for this. As for this one, it's going much better as we go through now. Then we go through to turn three, we go through now. And we're going up fast indeed in the first set indeed. Why are we going through now? Oh, that's very good indeed. That's good much turn indeed. Much better indeed, pace indeed. 
And we go, oh, permanent to take set indeed. We might be faster than we can today, guys. We only need 69 tenths of the indeed. Come on. Will this be the first place for me? Let's see. Will we go through to the fire kind indeed? Up and on to where we go through now. Here we go. Across the line we're now, and we are, oh my word. We were only just tenths from a second from Wicada today, guys. Wow. That was a close, epic battle that was, guys. Well, mind you, woman up, guys. We'll see you at the end of the quarter where we end up, guys. Oh my god, guys. We actually got Pope Precision, guys. By just four tenths of a second by Lewis Hampton, guys. And we got our teammates, that we can by the wire, well, guys. We got it, guys. We got Pope Precision for tomorrow's Brazilian Grand Prix, guys. What excellent performance and what we're only done in P4 and May. What an excellent performance for us indeed. Here at South Park Brazil. And we're on purpose here for tomorrow's Grand Prix indeed. So, let's take a look at the point system before we go, guys. That we need to hurry very much before we end the video, guys. Yeah. 77 resource points there, guys. Yeah, I got purpose here. Look at that. Oh, but Ricardo got the same lap time for me. Me, the, but he just got 10. But he, if he had that lap, Ricardo, he should have beat me. But we just beat him there by just two marks. You know, we got there, guys. Good to be back on track of D so far. So we got purpose in for tomorrow's Grand Prix, guys. But anyway, guys, that is the fear here. I hope you enjoyed this fear here, guys. So next time you join us, we're going to go to the race for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Bad luck, Ricardo. Good luck for the race tomorrow, guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this fear, fear, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you for the race tomorrow. Goodbye.